The Kawhi Leonard of rap, man. We got Money Man in the building. What's good? What's poppin', man? Man, do you remember? Uh, well, one day I had tweeted. Uh, I was like, man, uh, Money Man is the Kawhi, you know, Leonard of rap. He doesn't talk too much. He doesn't overdo it. And you posted it on your page, so that meant you agreed to it, right? Yeah, there, I mean, I just I felt the comparison. Like it was, it was on point. Mm. For sure, for sure. Right. Yeah, I seen you post that, so I was like, okay. He agreed with that. And a lot of people now, they do call you the Kawhi Leonard of rap. Yeah, and Kawhi Leonard was balling at the time, too. Mm -hmm. It Straight was a up. good comparison. Yeah, now, um, I don't know if you remember, uh, 2016, you just released Black Circle. Um, and uh, I had came to Atlanta. And I think, was was he a condo? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Downtown. Yep, yeah, yeah, we did the interview. Was that like the first, one of the first interviews or... Um, that might have been my first interview right there. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, that might have been one of my first. That was one of my first interviews. Definitely. Yeah. Because I remember, uh, I I think you had the BMW i8. I don't, I'm not sure if you had the i8. Yeah, I had the i8 at the yeah, time. Yeah, and I, you know, that was me coming up with, you know, during the Say Cheese. And I was like, damn. Like, at that time, I was like, wow. Like, yeah, you know, money man. We were getting to it around that time, like. It was going crazy. For sure. Now, a lot of people, I don't think a lot of people know, because a lot of people know you as the rapper, but they don't know what, what it took to get to where you're at. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people talk about, you know, uh, how you invest in, you know, the free game you give on IG Live and where you're at today, but what did it take for you to get here? Um, I mean... You know, it was, a, it was, we had to get over a lot of roadblocks because, you know, we had to run the bag up first. And then once I ran the bag up, I just put it into the music and, and it made taking off much easier because I can, I can uh, promote the music and market it and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, I, it was 100% independent. In the beginning, it was 100% independent and organic. And then shout out to guys, you know, uh, Empire. We, I'm going crazy with Empire right now. So, but in the beginning, it was 100% independent. Yeah. Because even before, I'm going back to the days when you were in Atlanta very often. Um, or no, are you from Atlanta? Yeah, I'm from Atlanta. Okay. Because um, I remember it was days to where, though, you know, me and you would talk on the phone. I don't know if you remember, but you would you were the first rapper that, that hit me up and was like, yo, I want to buy out the whole Say Cheese page for a day. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. And I'm like... Money man, I can't do that. So many artists, they they want this spot, and you're like, man, I want to buy it the whole day. Yeah, I was trying to buy the whole day, man. I was trying and, to go and, crazy. And, and at that time, you you had a buzz in Atlanta. You yeah. know what I'm saying? A lot of people they get a buzz, they get to a certain level, and they stop investing. But you, you were already one of them guys at that time, and you still wanted to buy out Say Cheese Post left and right. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, and then you you was going crazy. Your platform back then mm -hmm. was going crazy, so. I just wanted to buy it up so you know folks could see it and know what's going on because I knew once they seen it they was gonna rock with it. Yeah. How how much money do you think you know at the beginning you invested in your rap career? Probably like in the beginning, probably like at least two hundred and fifty. A quarter mil. Yeah, for sure. Okay, and all this is just on what advertisement? Like, what is all this on exactly? Just everything, man. Clothes, the lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I would have spent that anyway. If I wasn't rapping, so I'm definitely gonna spend that on the on something I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna make more money out for it later. Right. Yeah. Okay. And are you seeing anything back, or you just keep keep pushing out? Now I always see back. I always got to see profit, and I gotta I gotta keep flipping, and I gotta see profit. So it's both of them going yeah. on. So music videos and things like that, all that's out of pocket. Nobody helping. Oh no, 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 for sure. Empire. Empire okay. go in with me. Empire okay. Empire going on whatever I want to do. And this was at the beginning. No, no, not at the beginning. Yeah, I'm speaking out of the beginning. Oh, yeah. Beginning. Oh, yeah, at the beginning, at the beginning, it was hundred percent financed by me. So whatever I just I just spent money on, on on whatever. You feel me? Like whatever would go with music, I was gonna spend on it and market it. Mm-hmm. And paying for features and things like that. I didn't pay for features in the beginning. In the beginning, um, everything was organic. At that time, I I was just I was just rocking and um, I was just organically making music. So 
I wasn't tripping on no features. I was just trying to make real hard music, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and make sure the people rock with it. Like, yeah. Now, I remember at that time you were heavy in the clubs. You were going club to club from North Carolina, South Carolina, back down to Georgia, where you were the DJs. Did you kind of like put them in your pot? You know what I'm saying? Like distribute to them too? Well, what, what happened was the DJs just started rocking with me. Like, shout out to all the DJs in the um in the South. You feel me? You know, all the way from Texas on over to um Florida, then on up, North Carolina, South Carolina, all that. They was rocking with me. Like they was just playing it. They was picking it up on their own. Um I had to catch a relationship with them through my DJ. That's when I had my DJ go get all their numbers. And then we connect with them that way. Right. So you had a relationship with the DJs and you just sending them packs. Yeah, for sure. Every time we drop something, we sending it out to them. Yeah. Every time. And when did you realize, like, you know what, this shit really working? Um, when they start paying me for shows. When they pay you for shows, it's working. Yeah. They paying you. You feel me? You do what you they paying you. You remember the first rap check? Yeah, for sure. Mississippi booked me. My first show, I probably got um 4500 I took 4500 for my first show. Damn. Yeah. How did that feel? It felt excellent. Because around that time, 4500 just to come rock the stage, let's go. Yeah. And then after that, it was just, it just, yeah, it just, up. It, it, it just went up and up and up. Mm. It just went up and up and up from now. What's one thing that you learned at that time? You know, spending a quarter million. You know, a lot of niggas these days, they, they're on the internet crying about not getting support. But you, on the other hand, you're spending a quarter million. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to, if I'm, I had to make it somewhere else and then spend it on rap. And then rap start paying off. And then I'm not finna complain about shit. Like, I'm, I'm going to make something happen. Like, I'm not going just because. I put it like this, I'm gonna beat the odds. That's the type of person I am. I feel like I can beat the odds. So I'm not doing no complaining. I'm just making moves and I'm making sure I'm following through with everything I do. Yeah. Now, a quarter million, everybody is not blessed enough to have a quarter million, right? Yeah. For you sure. invested a quarter million and obviously you had that to blow. Cause I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not spending your last on rap. No, sir. You know, how, how did you kind of come up on, you know, that type of money? Um, I had businesses back then, like I had businesses and then um I knew how to work money, like I just know how to I know how to flip some money, I know how to manage it. Um but them businesses was really paying off. Okay. So you just said, fuck it, I'm just raps for my next move. Yeah, I always could rap. See, that was the thing. I always could rap, like, um, I always was making songs. I always made sure I stayed in the studio. It was just, um, I had other shit going on too. So until I made a certain amount of money, that's when I was going to start rapping seriously. Mm. Okay. Okay. So you had a goal set in mind. Yeah, definitely. With how much money you need to save up. Yeah. But so I could do what I want to do in the music game. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want nobody putting nothing up for me and then trying to tell me what to do. Like, I know what's going on over here. I can get my own money, finance myself, and then do what I want to do. Yeah. Was there, ever, was there any ever slow moments? In music? Nah, no slow moments. None? Nah, not one. Right out the gate? Out the gate, been going and still going. It's no slow moments. I, it might, the slow moments might be, I don't do no shows, but that don't matter. Yeah, no, I'm speaking about the beginning. Oh, in the beginning, yeah. once, it, once it hit, it hit. It, it went, it's been going up ever since. Okay. And which what was the first record? Um, Boss Up. Boss, Boss up, up took off. No, really, it, I had a song called Pigeons. Pigeons slightly, not nah, Boss Up. Boss Up took off. But Pigeons took off too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I heard, I heard Boss Up first. Yeah, a lot of people heard Boss Up first. And then, a lot of people heard Boss Up first. Um, then How I Feel went. Right. Really, um... It was a couple of songs that went. I had one with Gucci. Um, what that was called, man. The one with Gucci took off. Um, that's on Black Circle? Yeah, that's on regular Black Circle. Yeah. One. Okay. You heard Black Circle 2 probably. Yeah. First, Black Circle 2 was Black Circle. My friend from, uh, shout out to Ace Boogie in St. Louis. He put me on you. Yeah, for and sure. And he's out, he was out in St. Louis and it was that Black Circle 2. Yeah. 
And then, you know, the rest was history.